Hello, today's devotional can be found in the Joseph Smith translation of Matthew chapter 26, verse 25. And I give you unto you a commandment that ye shall observe to do the things which ye have seen me do, and bear record of me even unto the end. Okay, so we are surrounded by God and his miracles each and every day. We see them if we choose to see them. We allow them to impact our lives if we choose to allow it. They happen whether or not we choose to see them. But when we see them, we have we have a responsibility to remember them not only in our minds and our hearts, but also on paper if it deem it's if it feels appropriate. Because there are some things that are too sacred to write down. But we keep a record of the miracles that we see God perform in our own special ways simply that, pi that posterity might come to know who God is and what he is capable of and that he loves all of his children very much. We are God's children. Of course we forgot that we were God's children when we came to earth. But we came from a heavenly father and a heavenly mother. And we were sent to earth, placed in different circumstances, in different situations, and all were given the opportunity to choose about relearning about God and rediscovering who we truly are. Not everyone has chosen to rediscover who they truly are, but if we want to know who we truly are and that we have value, we need to seek the Lord out. And by learning of God, by observing the extraordinary things in every ordinary day, by reading the scriptures and seeing what he has done for those of yesterday. We can come to understand how he helps the people of today and how he protects them from great, terrible harm. He can't control people's choices and because people make bad, terrible choices, others get hurt, but God does protect his children. God does protect the righteous. And the righteous, well, the definition of being righteous is simply living good and doing well. So there are a lot of righteous people out in this world that don't even know who they are, truly. But they know they have a desire to do good, and God applauds that. Even if people don't seek him out and they still have a desire to do good, God will protect them because God loves and protects those who wish to do good with the time and the circumstances they have. You know, just because we may have bad circumstances or bad situations, we don't get to give up and curse God and curse life and wish that we had never been born and all that terrible crap. We are capable of doing and being so much more than we believe in ourselves. When we have the opportunity to observe God, we need to make note of it, if not in paper, in our hearts. Because he shows us these things to teach us and to show us that we're more valuable than we may treat ourselves sometimes and that others are more valuable than we may treat them. Those who bear record of God will always remember, will have a better time remembering Him. Because all it takes is seeing another miracle and then they can go back to feelings in their hearts that they had when they first saw a miracle. When we are commanded to do it, we aren't forced to do it. It's our choice whether or not we observe the miracles of God and whether or not we keep a record. But it will be for our benefit and the benefit of generations to come. 
And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.